Welcome back to Android Tutorials and in this video we are going to create an onboarding screen like this with animation so let's begin our today's video titled onboarding screen in Android Studio with animation so to create this type of onboarding screen with animation we are going to use a Ramotion library yes and the library is here you can see that this library name is paper onboarding android with the help of this library we can create a splash screen with just one java file you heard it right we are going to create a splash screen with just one java class so let's begin our today's video and the minimum requirement for this library of onboarding screen is 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich version means api level 15 or greater is the requirement and uh, we are going to use the id android studio so let's begin with our qr code application series this is the second part of our series QR code by Android Tutorials. So first let us create a paper onboarding activity. So I had already created it to save our time. And uh, first of all you have to add our library means dependency in our project. So for that you can see that here is our implementation for Ramotion paper onboarding library so here is our paper onboarding dependency next I am going to close this file now and uh, move to main activity dot java file and here you can see that in our previous video we had added this main activity but now as we had already created we are going to write paper onboarding activity and uh, after you have to move on paper onboarding activity dot java file and to create this file you have to cl right click on your package name and then you will find one dialog for generating new java class as well as vector assets here is for vector assets and here is for java class so first i am going to show you for paper onboarding activity and when you click on enter you will find this class generated and then right click on package name and new vector asset here it will take some time to load our icons so basically here I had written looks and here you will find 1 to 10 digits in a square like this so it totally depends on our internet connectivity to load these icons so here you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you have to select any of this and add it to your project as per your need then move to the library and the link of this library I will give in the description of this video so you can watch from there over there you will land to this page sorry this page and uh, here you have to copy all this code and add it to your project and after you add it in your project you have to do some changes to work our project and I am going to tell you that project right now means that changes right now first I am going to tell you about on page change method so this method will from changing the activities means from first onboarding screen to second onboarding screen with animation 
this method will use and once all the onboarding screens complete then we are going to start a intent for our dashboard activity that we are going to create in next video so here we had shown our toast and next here we have to make our changes so currently i had taken uh, three pages but you can add as many as you want first here you can see that new paper onboarding page and here is our title text description text color of background our onboarding screen main illustration and our navigations and i'm going to give you the source file source where you can find all these illustrations so for that also i'm going to create a link in description so you will land here and from here you can search for your illustrations so this is a website name story set this enable us to give the illustrations that we usually want in our projects and nobody in the youtube will give this type of resource where you can find this amazing illustrations all will just give the images that they are using but i am giving you the complete source next we are going to make these changes so the first second third fourth and fifth as that i am going to show you here here this is first the title second then background color is third this illustration is fourth and this is fifth thing that we are going to add in our page so here i had added scan onboarding one with one and as per that i had written all my values and next we are going to make a array list and add all the pages into our elements array and then return our elements and then in our onboarding paper engine we are going to write find view by id and id will be onboarding root view this is by default only so we have to just write like this and get data for onboarding method and application context when you run your application you will find your project with onboarding screen with animation and if you enjoy this video then please make sure you like and share this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our channel android tutorials you can find our channel by hashtag android tutorials thanks for watching onboarding screen with animation by android tutorials meet you in next video thanks for watching